what's up boys and this is Damian McGee here and we're back again with Spider-Man the video game on the PlayStation 2. Um, we're now going to be playing against the villain known as Vulture. And for those of you who don't know who Vulture is, he's some old geezer who likes to stalk little kids on the internet. And he also has wings. That's not creepy at all. He basically represents a vulture pretty much. Which is weird because aren't they supposed to be extinct? Or am I confusing them with dodo birds? This is some nest. Okay, th yeah, he's right. Um, I think this level is called Vulture's Nest. Basically, what you have to do is that you have to climb to the top of the tower, which usually you can just web zip all the way to the top. Except I don't think you can do that. Um, you can't like climb up staircase. Um, this is one of the hardest I levels. Hope this is a warm nope. enough welcome for you, insect. Um, spiders are arachnids. Get your facts straight, old man. Okay, nope. You aren't um, I hate those things. Okay, you can see that there are many power-ups all over the place, and you're gonna need as many as you can get. Nope. You're becoming a thorn in my side. See? Today you die, Spider. And this is where it gets hard. Ah, uh, yes. You. Oh. Ah. Basically, what he says this is the old swinging log of doom trick. Ow! Oh! Ow! My nipples are burning. Plays a green goblin, by the way, you're playing as Harry Osborne. For those of you who haven't played this game yet. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying, but they should have put in, you know, a mission just for the green goblin for when you get to play the green goblin. I don't know how you're supposed to get that. I don't know. Ah, oh, what the fr- Ow! Stupid nipple. I'm sorry, I just like to use nipple tricks. Or, not tricks, jokes. Oh. See, what's confusing about this level so you, that you never know where you're supposed to go. Unless you're just an idiot, in which case, well, if you're you are an it, if you're an absolute idiot, then this whole game you'll probably end up figuring out where to go really easily. Um, I don't know. I'm supposed to be in there. Gravity slam. Ah. Who's your landlord, Vulture? Quasimodo. Who? I mean, this is like one of the only jokes Spider-Man makes in this whole level. Well, probably even this whole game that I actually don't get. If you, if any of you guys know who Quasimodo, who Quasimodo is, um, yeah. This is one of those levels. It's like. Where do I go kind of levels? Okay. Nope. I like with them. Alright. A little hint that something bad is going to happen. When the, oh frick. When the music goes off. Nope. 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 At this point you just want to jump around, breaking the laws of physics, and double jump. That's like the only thing they could do at this point, just jump around. Ow, my nipple ring. That was, that was a reference to... 
Gosh, what was... Ouch, my nipple ring. That, that was from Grand Theft Auto 4, which I will soon be less playing. But if you're like under the age of 17, or if your parents are standing That's right behind you, then you probably shouldn't even watch that let's play, because I'll be doing that soon. Alright, so one of the hardest levels in the game is done. Well, definitely hard, just confusing. Must be a pain to get groceries up here. Oh! Ah, pest! Why can't you leave me in peace? Because you're a villain! He's a lot like time alone once you're in jail. He's a lot like one of those villains. Just like, oh, oh, nobody understands me. Okay. Time, I understand that. Level completion 500. How? In the name of Zeus's big toe, are you supposed to get this level perfect? Like, um, seriously. Like the level coup d'etat, which is like French for the downfall of government, I'll tell you guys later. Um, and coup d'etat, which is a Green Goblin level, you know, you have the option to get that perfect too. But then the next level, whenever you're, one of the later levels, whenever you're fighting the Green Goblin, you like don't have to get perfect because in that level, Green Goblin, beats the, Green Goblin beats the living crap out of you. So, I don't get that. Okay, so, oh, what time are we at here? Six minutes, again. So, six minutes, took me six minutes to do that one level. Okay, hold down the web mod. The what? The web mod button and a direction when you break web to maintain swinging speed on tight turns, okay? Hey, Vulture, did your mother ever okay. teach you Wrong. Got to These gems are insured. Very fun. Okay, this is one of the only levels in the entire game where you actually have to use lock on. Hey, Ow, my nipples. I love nipple jokes. I'm gonna I'm gonna be making those a lot in this game probably. Disagreement, could you, Baldy? Okay. Yeah, Baldy. Because, like, if you don't use lock on, you're most likely going to lose the vulture. Ow! Sorry, I'm a glutton for punishment. Ow! Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. Oh, he's blowing that up. Those people look thirsty, don't they, Spider-Man? They do, actually, except for the fact that it's raining. Rain should purify them. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't really harm them. Well, boing. Boing. He could Oh frick. No, 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 dodge. Okay. The bombs don't really do much. It's the I should have waterproofed my costume. Really freaking careful. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright. Where are we at? Um. Should I end it right here? 
Vulture proximity, I guess it means that hey, hey, you're like really, 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 really freaking close to them. I got zero. Perfect zero. Exactly. Well, I guess you can get a perfect on this somehow, but I almost died at this part. Um. I'm not sure if I should. Okay, I got 13 minutes of time left, so. Yeah, one more. All three Vulture videos. The Vulture Trilogy. That's why I should call this video the Vulture Trilogy. You're fighting on Vulture's turn. Try to get him out of the air. Well, duh, I know how to do that. Just web launch stuff at him. That's actually how you do it. Actually, no, you land on its head and beat the little snot out of him. Like so. Punch him in the head a bunch of times. Yeah, see, they're running. They're running. They run on gas. Like okay. I'm gonna get out of lock on for a second because there's a secret up here. Also, a little fun fact in the next game, um. Spider-Man 2, um, in Spider-Man 2, there's actually an easter egg, because this is the Chrysler building, um, there's an easter egg, when, like, you can actually find, um, some of Vulture's feathers on here. Frick! I don't want to come up here. Nope. Ah, oh, my stupid. Oh, that's it. No, no. No. You're done. You're freaking done. Nobody touches my butt. What the frick are you doing, Vulture? Curse me? Don't curse me. I'm not finished with you. Oh, frick. I guess you are kind of finished with me. Basic, yeah, that's basically all you do in this mission. It's like, you land on Vulture, you beat the little snot of him, and then he lands on the Chrysler building, and then that's it. Yeah, pwn you. I pwn you, sucker. Yeah, yeah. You. Now, Vulture, you can't go around taking things that don't belong to you. Yeah. What kind of example does it set for impressionable youngsters out there? Yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. Come on, old-timer. Wouldn't want you falling before we can book you, right? <laughs> what? What? Wait, wait, what? Okay. Again, you can get it perfect, kind of. It's just combat style. Combat style is total bull. Okay, guys, that's all I, the time that I have right now. Subscribe for a cookie, and as always, become a quester today. Play it off, Keyboard Cat.